If you want to buy some chocolate ice cream, it is nice to have choices, different kinds, different prices, but could you get to a point where you would have too many choices? No, not with chocolate ice cream, but how about if you're choosing between lots of mortgage loan offers? You may have no choice but to have lots of choices there too. Let's say you get pre-approval for a mortgage loan while you're home shopping. They pull your credit for that, which shows up on your credit report. Other lenders regularly buy that data. Now they know that you want a mortgage and they know a lot more about you. I mean, this is not just name, phone number, email address, there's some fairly personal information in regards to the type of loan they're applying for, how much the loan is, their credit scores even. So it's like a dating app. If you match the profile they like, they offer you their mortgage deal. That's competition, but it's getting super competitive these days. At a real estate and mortgage conference a few months ago, a mortgage expert says one speaker demonstrated how competitive. A presenter had his own personal credit pulled on stage on day one of the event. By the end of day one, he had been contacted by 27 different lenders. By the end of the week, it was over 100. So imagine that you are dealing with, uh, wow, a lot of paperwork in a mortgage application process, and uh, in the middle of all of that, uh, you're getting emails and calls and direct mail and texts about more than 100 competing offers. So why has it blown up like this? Alex Parker is a regional mortgage manager for Prosperity Home Mortgage and Ebby Halliday. He thinks it's mainly because there are a lot of potential home buyers out there, but since there is still low home inventory, only some of them are going to get a house and will therefore need a mortgage. So everybody's going after this very small pool of fish and, and trying to get them. Now you can opt out of the calls and other communications, but Alex Parker says you might go from getting too much information to not enough. If in many cases, if you opt out of this, you do lose some of your ability to shop if you want to shop other people. They can't contact you. Which leads to the question, who is applying for mortgages right now since interest rates have increased so much? Apparently, a lot of people are. Why that is and what lenders are doing to entice people to borrow at these higher rates next time we get right on the money tomorrow on Daybreak.